Jeremy Ellis here, MakerRockSetter.com, um, continuing on with the Joe JavaScript's machine learning tutorials. Today we're going to quickly go through the quadratic. Um, a reminder, you can go to my GitHub site with this. This URL should be in the video description. Um, DeepLearn.js, if you go uh, here, if you go to my GitHub, um, bottom of the page, there's the pair. And top of its page, there's deeplearnjs.org. Okay, that's the main um, website that has DeepLearn.js, uh, machine learning in the browser. Lots of great examples on that site. Anyway, we're doing quadratic. Uh, the reason this is going to be quite a quick tutorial is that um, the machine learning code for this uses graph and session, and they are being deprecated, not yet. Uh, but if you go to the latest version of DeepLearn, I'm on 0.4.2, you can change the code up and um, see where Graph and Session, if once this isn't working, then you know Graph and Session have been deprecated. Uh, let me look at the code here and see if I can, oops, let's look at this code. Uh, there's Graph. So graph is on, is session, there's session. So these are the things that are deprecated. Still, it's going to be easier than this. I'll probably make a new video once this is up and running. But here's the code. What we're doing is we are using machine learning to solve uh, the quadratic formula or a, a quadratic. Um, and, and the way they're doing this is you, you set up a graph, and in the graph you create your x placeholder and your a, b, and c variables, uh, which we're going to start off with random numbers, and we've done this before. Ooh, I'm using DeepLearn instead of DL, but whatever. As I said, I'm going to rewrite this. DeepLearn works fine, DL works fine as well. Um, and then we're doing a, a graph multiply. Um, squaring of x1, x1 is the graph holder. Uh, with A and multiplying X1 by B. Then we're adding the order 2 and order 1, those things we just did, with C and then placeholder and a bunch more math. Strangely, I've switched over to DL here. That should be DL. Uh, it's still, it's working fine. Um, then it's writing some stuff on the board. And, and here's the quadratic we're trying to solve for. 3X squared plus 2X plus 1. And what they're doing is they're entering some values for a, a line on a graph. Okay, and these values aren't perfect values. They've, they've got some randomness to it. And then they're testing what, if x is 4, what's, what's y? And they're saying within a, some sort of error, it should be around 57. So here's, here's how it, it does it. It's good to go through. As I said, uh, scope isn't being deprecated. Keep is keeping some of these values. So the result is going to be, um, oh, this is just the first initial guess. So this is how it's done. Um, there's your initial value as a new scalar. There's your tensor x1 that we calculated up here and y1 and it's trying to revalu uh, evaluate it and then it's getting the values. Okay, so then here's the interesting part. Uh, remember I said we've got some dots on a line, uh, x0, y1.1, uh, x1, y5.9. Well here all of this stuff is being set up here. So if x is 0, here's your x-axis, the y is 1.1. And these are all deep learn scalar news. As I said, this could be DL. Uh, there's 1, 2, and 3. There's 1.1, 5.9, 6.8, 3.9. Uh, and then it, it's shuffling uh, these inputs and defining how many batches, the, the length of the batch, the learning rate. You'll find this number if you change it slightly. Uh, things either get better or worse. Uh, it's grabbing an optimizer with that learning rate. And then here's most of uh, the training. So it does the number of batches. It calculates a cost by doing a session train. 
and then it puts all this information into your session train. So this session train is a, a huge function that's doing an awful lot of work for us by DeepLearn.js. And then it's printing out the average cost uh, with the cost value right there with get. Uh, as I said, that thing may change later to data, but let's, as I said, this thing's deprecated. So then uh, now we're testing the result now of the number four again to see what uh, value we get. And after training, it prints out how many batches, blah, 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 and it should print the result get values. So let's, let's give this a try. Remember, this is not the normal way of solving a quadratic on, on a calculator where you plug in the quadratic equation. This is the machine is learning that specific uh, 3x squared plus 2x plus 1, and it's learning all values of that line that's drawn. So here, let's do it quite quickly. It prints out a bunch of information, and then it's showing you the cost. The cost, well, cost is kind of a uh, how close to the thing being trained uh, is. So 123 is not very close, whereas these numbers are starting to get uh, nicer. Uh, after training 20 batches, learning rate of 0.01, uh, with an input of 4, the output's 57.07. Uh, that's good. I learned it. Let's um, move to why I'm so excited about having machine learning in, in JavaScript on web pages, is we can now start messing with these things quite easily. You can look at the code. Basically, I'm just grabbing these values and putting them in the same code from up there. So you could go have a look at the code. Uh, each one of these things will have an ID. I'm using document.getElementById to, to grab these values. So we could change this. We could make this 100 batches. We could make the learning rate uh, 1. And we could mess with this a little bit, give it sort of worse values. Um, and instead of solving for 4, let's solve for 9. So let's see what happens. Uh, it's gone red. Oh, there, it's done. So here it's done 100. It should actually say which number it's doing. Oh, it should change the code next time I do it. And so for 100 batches with a learning rate of 0.015, with an input of 9, gets an output of 266. Uh, 0.56. There you go. There's the code if you wanted to have a look at it. See, it's just uh, grabbing these. Um, oh, here's the code where it's grabbing. Where's the code that's grabbing it? There we go. Get element by ID, my XO, my X1, my X2. Those things are probably defined up here. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll probably be rewriting this one once graph and session have been got rid of with eager mode. Um